Doug came up to me and said that he was going to start a band. I said, is it a rock band? You don't look like a rock star. More a uh, carny than sex symbol. You wouldn't be like, oh my God, I'm buying this record of this middle-aged man gotten fish. I saw Doug and I was like, oh, that doesn't fit. But I was just so compelled. You can't play guitar. It's not much of a singer, but they're great songs. Good luck. Would you please welcome, from Vancouver, Doug and the Slug. Play me tracks. This sounds good. This sounds really good. The rhythm is infectious. I was like, what kind of music is this? Changing styles and genres, cultness as well as the everyman-ness. What is Slugmania? When things really started to take off, there was magic. They were making money, people were happy. I can't imagine how I physically survived it. Boom, you have a national top 10 hit. That's probably when the focus started to really shift towards Doug. He was bullheaded, he was belligerent. Man had to compromise. Sometimes things blow up. I wouldn't say I was poached. Then they were on our team. We'll take a hiatus and then we won't kill each other. How did you feel when I called to say I wanted to do a film about the band? Why would anyone want to do that? As a kid, I lived next door to my best friend Shay and her parents, Nancy and Doug. When you got together with Shay, it was almost like a bond was formed. And it was so great for Shay. It was so great for you. Teresa, get back on stage. Once Shay and I started high school, I completely lost touch with the family next door. And I still don't know what happened. Doug journals every day. 1979 did get the band off the ground. Seems the big issue here is me shifting away from my instincts. I'm not here to make commercial fucking pop. Doug and the Slugs looking for the hit. If John had not lost it in terms of our relationship, then he would be the guy. Entered a period of pain and anguish coupled with extreme bouts of pain and anguish. I know I've got to slow the descent. It's just about being in rock bands that never go anywhere. Doug was impervious. I was worried about him. I don't think Doug was able to finish the song. Have you talked about this a lot? Not a lot. He was on his path. He had a show to put on. The show's got to go. He pushed and pushed and pushed and got us where we got. We were the best of friends. We were the worst of friends. And we were everything in between. After 20 years, I decide to give Shay a call. I realize this is becoming a story about people who love each other growing apart. Doug and the Slugs. Doug and the Slugs, ladies and gentlemen.